We're now going to talk about how we can determine if a particular graph is odd, even, or neither. So remember our definition of odd is that when we plug in negative x in, it's the same thing as just changing the signs on the original. And for an even is if we plug in a negative, we get back the exact same thing. So it doesn't matter if we plug in a positive or a negative. Well, over here we have our first example, f of x equals x squared. And this is a great example of an even function because notice it's symmetric over the y-axis. We can prove this by plugging in a negative x into the function, which means wherever I see an x, I replace it with a negative x. And when I square the parentheses of minus x, that just gives me an x squared, which is the original f of x. And again, f of minus x equals f of x, so this is an even function. Well, we also have another one, g of x equals x cubed. And notice here that we have a symmetric over the origin graph. Minus x and g of minus x is the same thing. So when we look at this one algebraically, so it's easy to see that this is odd because it's perfectly mirrored over the origin. But algebraically, if we do g of minus x, that's going to be equal to minus x cubed, which when we raise a negative to an odd power, it retains the negative, minus x cubed, which is minus x cubed, which is minus g of x. So g of minus x is equal to minus g of x. So again, this proves that it is odd. So let's look at more complicated examples now. Suppose that we have the function f of x equals 4x to the fifth plus 2x cubed. And I want to find what f of minus x is. So that's 4 times minus x to the fifth plus 2 times minus x to the third. Well, a negative to an odd power stays negative, and a negative times a positive is negative. So we get negative 4x to the fifth and negative 2x cubed. I can factor a negative out of that. And notice that 4x, oops, that becomes a plus. 4x to the fifth plus 2x cubed is the same as 4x to the fifth plus 2x cubed, which is f of x. So f of minus x equals minus f of x. Now, if you're paying careful enough attention, you'll notice that our graph, or our function, only had odd powers. That's important. But this is an odd function, and it only has odd powers. A follow-on example. Suppose that g of x is equal to 3x to the fourth minus 5x squared. And again, we want to know what g of minus x is. So wherever I see an x, I replace it with minus x, minus 5 times minus x squared. So g of minus x equals, when I raise a negative to an even power, it becomes positive, so it retains its same sign. Notice this is exactly the same as this, so g of minus x equals g of x which makes this an even function because the negative sign change doesn't change the sign of the original. And we have our even function. And notice again that this even function had only even powers in it. So the last one we're going to look at, f of x equals 2x plus 1. So f of minus x equals 2 times minus x plus 1. So f of minus x is minus 2x plus 1. This isn't exactly the same, so it's not even. If I factor out a negative, I get 2x minus 1, and this isn't the same, so it's not odd, making this neither even or odd. And it's important to note, the constant is treated as an even power, even though it's not. It behaves the same as an even power. It never changes its sign. And so that's how we can tell odds, evens, or neithers. As we look at their powers, we plug in a negative x, and we see whether it's the same or whether every sign has changed.